Hello and a very warm welcome. Driver ratings for the 2018 F1 season. All 20 drivers covered. Same as the driver ratings after every race, but instead we're doing it for the season. Over the whole, all the 21 races. So let's get into it. We'll start with the five-time champion, Lewis Hamilton. 10 out of 10, it's got to be. He's the world champion, most drivers' points in the season, epic pole positions, epic wins, and five titles. It has to be 10. Valtteri Bottas, now this may seem harsh to some, but not really. 3 out of 10. Terrible season. He's in the best car, he's not won a race. Yes, he had bad luck at China, Baku, and um, somewhere else. China, Baku, was it Australia, where he was quite unlucky. Um, he's in the best car, it's not good enough. He's not won a race in the best car. I mean, Baku, he was leading, then he gets the puncture, he would have won that. Um, China, he was winning that race till the safety car. But it's simply not good enough, is it, for someone driving a Mercedes. Sebastian Vettel, 8 out of 10. A good, solid season, pushed Hamilton all the way, but mistakes at France, where he hit Bottas. Italy hit Hamilton. Japan hit Max. USA, 50-50 with Ricardo. Cost him massively, and that's why he isn't world champion. Too many mistakes, but a good fight. Kimi Raikkonen, 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, great season for Kimi, consistently on the podiums. His biggest highlight of the season was winning at um, USA, but never challenged for the title. He just didn't challenge, did he? But very consistent on the podiums. Right, on we go to Max, 7 out of 10. His highlight of the season was wins at, <clears throat> wins at Mexico. And this is quite hard, trying to recall everything. Mexico and Austria won it. Should have won at Brazil and China as well. Tough start to the season. I think 6 of the 7 races he had a crash. But... The second half of the season, he matched Hamilton on points, so he was superb. I mean, he was robbed of victory at Brazil, Ocon hitting him, robbed at China. Well, it was actually sort of his mistake at China. Went for it on Hamilton, should have been patient, would have won the race. Ricardo, 5 out of 10. Pretty average season for Ricardo. Outqualified by Max, outraced by Max. This is why he's leaving. And he's going to Renault. But yeah, hammered all season by Max. His highlights uh, wins at Monaco and China. And he gets the best overtake. Too many issues in the second half of the season. Unreliable. Carlos Sainz, 7 out of 10. He is a good, good driver, Carlos Sainz. And future of F1. He's going to McLaren. He's had a great drive. Abu Dhabi, he got 5th place, I believe. Yeah, he did. Fifth place, Carlos Sainz. And yeah, he's a good, consistent driver. Let's see what he can do at McLaren. Nico Hulkenberg, 8 out of 10. Best of the rest. He wins that like, little championship. It, the best he can get is 7th in the uh, driver's standings. That's what he's got. Mr. Consistent. And he wins that battle. Consistent point scorer, consistent driver. Um, mega shunt at Abu Dhabi and Spa. Kevin Magnussen, 6 out of 10. Back here, we had his dirty boy tactics once again. But yeah, a good season for Kevin Magnussen. Grosjean, same, 6 out of 10. Stuff, uh, stuff, tough start to the year with, again, he was a bit like Max, getting caught up in odd, odd situations. Spain, Baku, I mean Baku. I can't believe what he did at Baku where he spun it under the safety car. But yeah, second half, once again, Grosjean, really superb. They keep their driver lineup for next year. Force India, boys, again, both 7 out of 7. Consistent drivers, always score points. Ocon is going to be out the sport for a year. Perez keeps his drive for next year. I mean... Their highlight for me this season was uh, qualifying at Spa and the race at Spa. Uh, on to Pierre Gasly, 6 out of 10. 
He had an absolute worldie. His highlight was probably Bahrain. Did he get fourth or fifth at Bahrain? Anyway, that was his highlight. And he's straight. His first year in F1, he's promoted straight to the big team. So, and a great season for Gasly. Um, nearly had an aeroplane accident at um, Baku, didn't he? On to his teammate. Brendan Hartley, 1 out of 10. He is simply not good enough to drive in F1. We have it every year. Ericsson, Gutierrez, Maldonado. This year it's Hartley. Next year it'll be Giovinazzi. That's what I'm calling anyway. But he's not good enough. Too many crashes. Not good enough. Brendan Hartley lost his seat. Has an excuse every time. Oh, the car's this, the car's that. Oh, I could have got into Q1 if I had this. I mean, yeah, for me, worst driver this season, Brendan Hartley. Fernando Alonso. I mean, what can you give him? He's his last, last race ever in F1. I think you can only give him, like, 4 out of 10. The car's just not good enough, so he can't show his true potential. Smash Van Dorn 21-0 in qualifying. Had a world-class race at Baku when his car was... Damaged. Also, Australia, he had a worldie. Van Dorn. I was going to give him zero, but I'll give him one. Just not good enough. He's lost his seat because he's not performing. I mean, Van Dorn, 21-0 in qualifying. Embarrassing. And he had a really good race at um, Mexico. And he, he got his balls out at Abu Dhabi, but too late. Now, Ericsson, 7 out of 10. Most improved driver for me. Marcus Ericsson, his best season in F1 to date, and yet he's not kept his seat. I mean, Ericsson, he had a great race in Bahrain. And yeah, for me, he's the most improved driver, and he's, it doesn't seem right. Other years he didn't perform, he kept his seat. This year he's performed, and he's got dropped. Sir Guy Sorotkin, 2 out of 10. The car's terrible. He's had a tough season. He's out the sport after a horrible year with Williams, but always has a positive word. Lance Stroll, 1 out of 10. Shocking all season. The car's awful. He never had a positive word about the Williams. And on he goes to Force India. Let's see if he is as good as he makes out. And he's got the talent. To drive that Force India. Quick uh, sip of tea. And last but not least. Ferrari bound Charles Leclerc. It's got to be 10 out of 10. His first year in F1. Straight up into the big team. Ferrari next year. And yeah 10 out of 10. World class. On so many different levels. This guy will be a future world champion in my opinion. Charles Leclerc has everything. Australia, Bahrain and China were a disaster. And then Summit clicked. He was superb at Baku. And never looked back. Had a crash. Uh, the only crash I can remember off the top of my head was at Singapore. Where he was going across the Anderson Bridge. But a world class season by Charles Leclerc. And he deserves his chance at Ferrari. There we have it. All 20 drivers covered. I'm going to run down them quickly. Lewis Hamilton, 10. Bottas, 3, Vettel, 8, Kimi, 7, Max, 7, Ricardo 5, Sainz, 7, Hulk, 8, Kevin Magnussen, 6, Grosjean, 6, Perez, 7, Ocon, 7, Gasly, 6, Hartley, 1, Alonso, what did we have, 4, Van Dorn, 1, Ericsson, 7, Sorokin, 2, Stroll, 1, and Charles Leclerc, 10. There we have it, driver ratings done. That was for the season. And they'll continue next year. They're good fun to do. And yeah. Uh, look out for the video coming up. Season awards. They're always fun to do. There we have it. All 20 drivers covered for the season. Can't wait for 2019. We've got a long wait though. Adios. Thanks for watching.